uh, I can tell things, when I mean things, uh, the conditions uh, are getting critical. And I find that some scientists also think that. And so I think when uh, I do publish, uh, that group anyway will agree with me full-heartedly. On your conclusions. When you say things are getting critical, are you talking about something to do with the vehicles that are in the ring? of Saturn? Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You see, it, um, it's sort of simple. Um, on on the, that's a lot of energy. Right. And okay. And this is this is the ring, right? This part, this is the ring. It, it, that ends up being the ring. Yeah. And it's it's and they're, hot plasma. Oh, really? Okay. So, and they're what your theory is? They're man manufacturing it. Is that correct? It comes. That's that's the exhaust from this thing. From the craft. Yes. Is it because are they stationary or are they moving the craft? They're probably moving. So do you think, when you say things are getting critical, are you okay, saying... Okay, uh, just take that picture and say that's the exhaust. It's like you have an airplane with an exhaust. Mm -hmm. It's in your atmosphere, and it can load a lot of energy, you know? And, uh, um, but this is... Saturn, like John later says, you know, Saturn is the, is the focal point, and I can't agree with him more. Okay, but John Lear talks about Saturn actually being portal into another dimension. Well, you know, I he's theorizing. Yeah, so you don't necessarily go there. I, I don't go that way. Uh -huh. I, I either say, this is the way it is, or I, I can't attack it. Okay, but you're saying things are getting critical because I'm really curious. Are you saying that those craft are coming here? Is that why it's critical? No, I'm saying, in, in effect, if they do, and it, there's a good probability that that is possible, uh -huh. then, hey, you've got to get with it. You can't wait around. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you see... No one really in this country accepts the concept <laughs> that at Saturn those things are there. Right. As you can't do it at Saturn, or else, you know, they, you just can't hack it. It, it. People have got to be made to understand that those things are real. Right. Now, there are two images. We were taken by the Hubble telescope of, of Saturn this last year, 2012. Okay. That shows objects under the rings and one just right to the edge. Like I said, they were. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that Cassini? Is uh -huh. that our. Did the photographs come from Cassini? Uh, the last ones, no, no. The ones I told you about the, that shows those. Right. Those no. are Hubble's. Those are from Hubble. Yeah. But am I wrong? They closed down Hubble, right? Uh, well, yeah. Or that's the official but, story. Uh, right. Wherever they closed it down, it's 2012 before they show you the picture. It's 2012 before they show you the picture. What do you mean yeah, by and, that? And I was able to tell that before 1985. Yes. So you were way ahead of I everyone. Way ahead. Yeah. And um, that is too long to tolerate that kind of science. Mm -hmm. It's just too long. Now, I have three 
reports, uh, I guess, uh, on the environment, let's say, in UNESCO, uh, but they're yay thick, all three of them weigh 18 pounds or about 6 pounds each. And they have to vote on what they think goes on. That is not science. <laughs> They have to vote. Oh, okay, yeah, that's you're not right. Science. That's absolutely but right. But if they sell it, sell it to you, as though it's science, it is not science. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that is the hump that you can help get us over. Okay. Hey, those things are real. Right. Okay, but there are, if there are craft, there are beings. Um, Okay, people have asked me uh, about, I call them vehicles, okay? Right. Now, I did not call them objects. That was too neuter for me. Okay. Um, I had a Stanford professor say, you ought to call them objects, no, I'm going to know. They have all of the qualities of a vehicle. Mm -hmm. They can move. You know, they're just like a missile or anything like that. So that much we can say about them, for sure. Okay. So I'm calling them in. Okay. Okay, somebody comes along and says, well now where would you manufacture one that's two and a half earth lengths long? And um, that's a hard question to answer. However, if you think of it in terms of its uh, living entity, it's, a, it's just another kind of thing that we've got in our universe. And it can grow and grow and grow and grow. Okay, uh, so... so it can be an MV and it can, can self-hand life. Uh-huh. So, are you not positing the idea that they, those vehicles contain, you know, beings who are, you know, maybe like us? Yeah, I only go along with government images. And if you want to know about people kind of thing, um, there is the ship that picked up the Voyager uh, capsule um, at the uh, Alameda uh, Naval Shipyard, and they they have a picture there of um, I think I think it's uh, the Apollo. Flight the, the bugs and uh, and Neil were on, uh, but anyway, there is one image there that shows black people getting off. So people with dark skin getting off. Not dark, black. Black skin. Really black. Yeah. Were they tall? Yes. Very tall. Yeah. How tall? Do you know? Well, they got out the uh, the doorway. I don't know how high that is, but well, what it's safe, is safe. Seven seven feet would be probably a conservative estimate. Um, Have you heard about Clark McClellan's uh, statement about that? No. Oh, you haven't. No. Have you ever been in touch with him? No. No. Mm -hmm. uh, I have tried to stay independent and not be affected by others' opinions. Mm -hmm. uh, I would rather have what I present clash with somebody else and see who wins. <laughs> and, okay. And, and settle it that way, mm. rather than, than make a, a shoving match over it. Sure. Uh, I learned at Ames that the longer you shouted, the more probable it was that you would get your way. And I, I don't want to go through that routine. Okay, well, good for you. 